So first of all, thank you, sir. It's my first time I'm listening to you. I'm very happy. So I have this doubt uh, regarding the entire Vedant model, like that I am a restlessness, a pechani, what we say, and out of this incompleteness, this restlessness, all my desires, all my wants comes up, and then from these desires, what you say, aham vritti in the Gita session, from that comes the thoughts or the logics to justify, and then from there comes the actions. So it's like a model. It's a complete model. But then when I listen to Jiddu Krishnamurti ji, then he says then don't rely on any model or theorization, conceptualization ideas. Because just like we discussed right now, that all ideas, all logics would have some sort of flaw. So, and then I also know that, okay, uh, everything ultimately is facts. That means that you see it yourself and then it becomes a fact for you. But then it becomes very confusing in the sense that uh, you start navigating into the ideas as well. Like the you start navigating into models. Model is an idea. Vedant asks you to look into the ideator. Who is making the model? It's not your creation that you have to be too concerned with. You have to look at the creator within. I, I. The I is not a model or is it? It is your living reality. Yeah. Huh. So Vedan says look into the I. It's not a model. It's who you are. But like then, like okay, I asked you a question and then you give me an answer. That was also even a logical deduction. Like that A, then B, then C. So even that would have some sort of fallacy. Then how do we even reach any sort of definite knowledge? Answer is just an attempt. Hmm? Whether you can begin looking at yourself. The answer is obviously not the thing. It is an attempt at making the thing happen. A pointer to something. A pointer to something, an encouragement, whatever you call it. So it itself does not contain anything because it is... Oh, it does not. It does not. It is not. And an answer by itself is a very helpless thing. It cannot do anything by itself. Hmm? It, it's just a hope, you could say. It's just a hope that by virtue of the answer, the right thing might happen. But whether or not it would happen depends totally on the receiver. That from which, from which center I am listening? Whether there is now love strong enough to make things happen. So, like even the entire model, like you taught us that, okay, I am a restlessness. And no, I didn't, I, I, I didn't teach you amorousness. I said you find out whether or not you are restless. There is a difference between taking it from me and finding it out for yourself. But like, uh, maybe I'm wrong in this, but if you listen it, that okay. Uh, there is a model going on that uh, I am a restlessness and so on. And then you start observing, maybe you would just unconsciously, op like you would force it in your things. That okay, see, this, yeah. I am restless. That's possible, that's possible, that's possible. So then how will we know that uh, this is a fact? Because sometimes when you have observed and you realize that, okay, this model is absolutely precise. It is explaining everything. But then when the right choice comes, when the time of choice comes and you're like, okay, I have to leave the bed and do the right thing. That's when the ego gives you logic, uh, so, not the ego. So logics come. At the end of the long winded answer, there are just these two words. Huh? Look, look at yourself. Find it out. See who you are. So that's the only thing that the uh, answer implores you to do. The answer does not say remember the answer. The answer says remember who you are. I'm a bit confused. Uh, uh... What are we trying to when when we reach a definite knowledge, like some sort of definite knowledge, won't that lead to some sort of superiority? That okay, if I am following uh what if the knowledge itself says that any feeling of superiority or inferiority is to an inferior one? What if that is the knowledge? Yeah, right. To whom is the knowledge? Who is the knower? The knower itself is an inferior entity. Maybe that is the realization.
But yes, I, I get what you are saying. What you are saying is these things must be discovered by oneself. Yes. If they are not but, discovered, then they would become motivated. Very well said. And that's very, that's a point well made. These things must be discovered by oneself. Otherwise, anything coming from any source, any teacher, any book will, will cease to have uh, any um, kind of right impact. I can keep telling you, oh, there is restlessness within. But have you bothered to pause and see whether there is restlessness within? Otherwise, it will, you're right, just remain a model. Yeah, because it, it, it feels like that. Sometimes I'm just like, like thinking about the model rather than living it. What would you say like that? And like this, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says to Arjun that, uh, see, these people are already dead. So that obviously, when if, if someone listens this particular line without knowing anything, without observing, they would obviously see that there's a superiority model that, okay, Arjun, Krishna, all these are superior people and they are lower people. So on what grounds are you saying that this person is lower? The ground is the 72 verses that come before that. Jnana Yoga. That's all about knowing yourself. Huh? So when you know yourself, you also see there is a part of you that is exactly the same as the ones you are fighting. Hmm? And you know that part of you is dead. So you know the ones you are fighting are dead. There can be no superiority. The ones you are fighting are all already present inside you as a part of you. So if you call them dead, you are acknowledging that you too are dead and that's okay. But like, shouldn't we give them an opportunity that okay, even though these people have some choice left, that maybe they can also come to host some they, have, they can also come to understanding. Maybe the Rigodan can come the to understanding. Was, that opportunity was given in ample measure. Uh, if we are to get into the details of the story now, rather than the philosophy, the story says that uh, there was ample opportunity provided, but those who were being fought refused to avail the opportunity. Just one last thing. Uh, like, all the videos that you make, how are you so confident that what you are saying is right? Like, I'm not uh, being, I hope so I'm not being rude or something. I don't care about being right. <laughs> all I have is, all I have is uh, my honesty. Hmm? And I speak from there. And when I'm, when I'm saying something to you, I just don't know whether it is right or wrong. I have, I have no idea at all about what I'm saying. I just, just, like, yeah. Like what you say feels like a mathematical statement, like a theorem. Okay. When you are, when you are angry, you are basically angry because you are losing on something. You want something and hence you are angry. So this is like a mathematical statement. Because if someone is angry, he won't ever say, Ki, okay, I, I want something. That's why I'm angry. You see, when, when everything that is happening inside us is a game of atoms and molecules and things, Obviously, mathematics applies on things, right? If what is happening inside me is a chemical equation, shouldn't it be honestly expressed as a chemical equation? And all chemical equations deploy mathematics. So that's okay. It's like this, I am quite, uh, like I don't understand this, uh, uh, I, I get your concern and I fully uh, ratify it. You see, even the best of things coming from someone else hmm, uh, will remain uh, a bit alien. You have to go into the process yourself. And that's the entire point of the one who speaks to you. He does not want to uh, supplant your inner journey with his words. He wants to use his words to catalyze your inner journey. The words cannot be a substitute to self-knowledge. These are things that you have to know by yourself and for yourself. And this is for everybody? Or is everybody, it just like everybody, absolutely everybody. The words, they are not the reality or the truth. The words are at best an encouragement. But then it is said now that uh, 
like you gave an example in a very old video that uh, i am on my car and the car is not running so it's basically the handbrake is pulled off so either the guru comes and say ki hand just put the handbrake down or you just know about the car the engine and everything and now you know that so this is gyan yoga and that is bhakti yoga so in that particular situation that, that the person is listening to a guru and then doing the action and in this particular situation i am knowing everything and then i am doing the same thing so there is some irrespective sort of, of whether you do it or the guru does it first of all you must know that the car is revving and not moving that is something that you have to individually do right if even that much has not been done how can any helper help you are in a in a in a running car and you feel it's all quite smooth will you listen to advice from anywhere so first of all there has to be an inner honest and purely individual admission of suffering after that it could be your own strive i am striving to know what is happening and i want to get rid of all this ha huh? it could be a purely individual thing or you could take help from whatever external sources possible but irrespective of whether it's your own journey from there on or you take assistance the thing is first of all you came to admit that there was something that was missing that ah ms there was something that was broken and that and that nobody else can do for you that is a thing of your own honest admission you know the problem and then you decide that okay i will read the biology book or i will go to the doctor <laughs> something yes. like that yes yes well captured first of all but first of all and in that nobody can um, impose himself on you nobody can make you do anything it is a thing of purely personal volition hmm? it's a it's a sovereign choice of the consciousness to admit yes i am not all right but i want to be all right and there comes the faith as well that because the consciousness just keeps forgetting that it is diseased so at the time of forgetting you have to have keep faith that okay i am diseased no 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 I, I, more than faith you need attention you might forget that you have disease but life will remind you acha ha yeah like at that particular moment you can just give attention and you're like okay all right life life will give you one tight slap from here or there if you forget your real condition right Uh, my my eyes are dysfunctional i cannot see i might forget that i have been blinded but then as soon as i stumble i will be forced to acknowledge that so life serves great reminders so the the, the thing called faith that what is the purpose of it then it's not the reminder faith is nothing but in in simple words a reluctance a fierce resistance against the finality of uh, your uh, current condition i do not know what greatness means i do not know what lies in store next but what i certainly know is this is not what i was born for this is faith a huge there, yeah. there has to be something else i do not know what but there has to be this cannot be the finality i resist i refuse to accept this as my destiny this is faith i have various doubts but i guess many other people must be answered you can continue i am enjoying this <laughs> okay so like uh, there is faith and if you like i was observing on this i was i don't know what should we say thinking observing what is the right word but uh, the ego creates the exact parallel of what is formed when you are in hosh like you have faith and then you have belief you have mm. prem love compassion and then you have attachment mm. attachment also just springs up like anything like mm. when a person is falls in love uh, for a girl or something uh, they say that okay it just comes from my inside and all that but compassion too comes like that only it never comes ki mujhe ye, like i want this and that's why i am compassionate so both comes without reason uh, same goes like ki the thought uh, 
in when i am in hosh uh, like when you say that understanding gives you right action understanding also there are thoughts and they lead to action and the same thing is happening when you are in bejani and uh, a, a particular desire gives you thoughts and action so basically the the ego has created exact parallel world so that you just keep remaining you just keep remain in, in that thing thinking that this is my home like this is what i have but, to but do. there are telltale signs there are easy giveaways you can know the real thing from the spurious one it's not all that difficult because the real thing is the real and the the, the false one is basically it's the- not a matter of poetry when you look at yourself you know hmm? not not uh, not just uh, uh, conceptually but actually you know the the markers of the wrong thing uh you want to call a thing uh, by a misleading name hmm? that cannot go too far because what you are calling it as that too has certain characteristics even if those characteristics are expressed in the negative so if you are honest then you will know that you have appointed a misleading name to the happening it all boils down to your own inner honesty you're calling attachment as love huh it won't be too long before you detect violence in attachment now how can violence go with love so there is a give away but the like the violence thing can also come with the love love as well yeah that which is coming with love huh that might appear like violence but if you look closely at it you will know what it is can we say can we say that uh, love gives you some actions attachment also takes you to actions but attachment can be known it can be known that it is coming from a desire but love cannot be known because it is coming from the unknowable or love can be known if you probe the presence of desire around it and find nothing huh? then you can be reasonably sure that as of now the thing is not corrupted see you cannot detect that which cannot be detected right mm. but you must detect so detect that which is detectable yes what is detectable desires are detectable greed is detectable fear is detectable so so look for them and if you find them then you must know something is amiss one more thing that why like i notice this that uh, i try to just mathematize everything like some sort of uh, systematic mess like for example you said desire greed and everything and how i see it that gr- desire is ultimately because of greed sorry greed is because of desire so why not just use the word like there I, is there is no problem with mathematics mathematics is beautiful i am basically a mathematics teacher only so that's perhaps the mathematics reason. is absolutely beautiful helps clear the clutter helps put things very precisely it's all right and mathematics too can have a poeticity to it so like like when i see kabir das and i'm like this totally blown away because he, he didn't have that much uh, uh, what we say scientific knowledge and in fact everyone who comes 2000 years back and so on so why do we on the path of liberation have to study this much this much and this is coming from the point when i am a, like i just love knowledge like just keep it's not I that it, it's 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 not that we what? we are uh, studying too much if you look at most of the people who uh, who ventured and uh, made a name for themselves uh, in spirituality most of them were very very well read today you have uh a category of uh, books and scriptures that you read then they had uh, their own uh, uh, particular category that they read some of those uh, uh, books or sources that they used have become redundant today um so we don't acknowledge the hard work uh, that they did 
but it's not as if things were happening spontaneously and effortlessly from for them and today you have to read a lot and put in uh, um, some degree of great effort no no that's not the way everybody who has uh, who has uh, dared to um, uh, to 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 target liberation has put in mind blowing effort but the effort cannot uh, like surpass the scientific development like now we know that there are genes dna and everything which was obviously unknown like say 2000 years back so how did they like understood the entire thing observation of life observation you just observe what is going on and uh, from that uh, certain things become very clear it's just that then they could not have expressed it in the language of science today today's jargon was unknown to them not that today science was unknown to them they would have never used the expression dna for example ha huh? but they very well knew that the body of any organism is coming from a certain source carry certain bondages operate certain certain limits and certain compulsions and very broadly that's what dna is about hmm basically they, they have the idea that it is ultimately a machinery going on it's machinery going on which depends on its source a lot about you depends on the source on of your body and what the body is is basically a bundle of limitations so this is something that they could easily observe through just observation so by observation it can be obviously you you look at a horse you look at a mule you see the difference you also see that two horses behave alike and so do two mules those things are not difficult to gather if you are attentive i mean uh, how did darwin gather all these things was there a theory of evolution why, why, before him yeah why, yeah why a tour he had that obviously yeah. so he just kept observing all the seas all the islands one specific island in particular so just as darwin could know those things by observation so could all the wise people before him uh just one thing that uh, uh, i have this thing that i am very curious so when i listen to anything you say or any person i become very curious at how from where is it coming from like the person i am listening to and uh, what is do, what is it doing to me am i instantly believing in it or i am actually understanding and then i am seeing it but uh, like the curiosity thing sometimes basically it is it acts as a disturbance for example why am i understanding it comes like i i have a i am a youtuber i have a, i have a youtube channel and i teach maths for j in that so my my calling my understanding says that i should teach mathematics in a very in a way that people lo- start loving it they see the depth of it they start understanding what the world is really so this is my calling but sometimes what happens that some sort of doubt arises and that uh, that that fl- i should say that it feels like some sort of an existential crisis that okay this entire vedant thing is uh, it is like a it is a lie it is something that i have just listened and gathered. these these doubts are probably the best things that can happen because they will help you challenge the model Uh, the that, model that otherwise the model will become the truth yes i so, somehow tried yeah i somehow tried to just uh, defend the model that okay no, model no 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 the model is not the truth and therefore there must be these periodic uh, questions and reminders from life hmm? and uh, the model will be put in its place but like this comes so so fastly that i am not able to do the action it feels like that okay this right this right action now becomes a action which was coming from a old understanding and hence now i don't know if the uh, right the right action is not your responsibility your responsibility is just to understand action happens via the the system hmm the physical system which includes the brain as well 
so action will happen on its own you don't have to be bothered about it you you must just keep asking yourself am i satisfied do i know is 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 this all that there is to it hmm? and there is there is a joy in asking that question there is also a joy in not receiving any answers to that question hmm? that action happen by itself one need not worry this like a constant ticking that okay others are waiting as well and i'm just taking so much time <laughs> so yeah it was so nice talking welcome thank you thanks so much mm.